So the next thing I'm gonna do for the truck is work on this rear bumper that I got that uh, was really affordable and I'm gonna show you why. All right, so this is a Jeep Wrangler bumper. Um, you can see that it has this pedestal on it and uh, a latch right here. And that's for a tire rack to go in the back. And also has a hitch. My Jeep already has a hitch, or my truck already has a hitch. But I measured it, and it'll fit. And I know I can fab up some uh, some mounts and everything, so it'll it'll work. So what I'm going to do is I have the grinder there, and I'm going to cut this off, this mount off here, and I'm going to cut that one off there, and I'm also going to cut this off that um, hitch. And I'll hang my bumper, or excuse me, I'll hang my license plate here, um, cover that up. And when I'm all done, then I'll be able to have a functional bumper, get rid of that ugly chrome one, and have one that'll tow uh, in case I need it. It's going to look pretty awesome. So uh, I'll show you guys how I'm going to do it. All right, guys. So here's the post right here. Got that cut off. Got this down pretty clean. And uh, so now on to the next one gonna look good I got some uh, some coating to make it match uh, some truck bed coating because I don't know if you can see this but this is textured so uh, this will match it up pretty close and I mean it's okay if it doesn't look perfect um, I spent $88 on this bumper and that included shipping and it was brand new so it's really hard to turn up your nose at that if it I think I'm going to be able to make it look pretty, pretty darn good. All right, everybody. So here it is. Cut off the uh, hitch. See if I can turn this thing over. All right. And that's the uh, other piece that was the latch. Got that all cut off and smooth. So that was where the pedestal is. And so the license plate will bolt in right here and hang down so you won't even see any of that. So that's why I didn't worry about doing any more than that. Um, so now I'm gonna get this stuff and give it a go, see how it does. So there's the bumper. I uh, put the textured paint on it. I'm actually put a couple coats on it now. And I've done the whole thing to try to blend it together. And it's still wet. So actually looks pretty good though. And then my bug flector was actually a smoky color. So I took it off uh, to paint it black because all the other accents on the truck are black. So I thought it looked better. So there's the bumper. This is the product I used. It's a Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. It's like eight bucks for a, a can. I think it did pretty good. It has some texture. You can see that's where the latch was and uh, got it cut off. And that's where the hitch was, or the, the swing arm was attached. And you can see I had a little runnage because it was tilted down. So I'm gonna put one more coating on here. I think it looks really good though. And then all I have left is to mount it up. And then here's the uh, the bug flector that I put the, uh, the coating on too. It looks really good. All right guys, today I'm going to mount up the bumper or attempt to. So I'm gonna have to fab something up and make it work. There's the bumper in the back of the truck, right there over my shoulder, right there. And uh, we're gonna try to mount it up, so here we go. All right guys, so you can see I got the bumper off right there. And uh, then this is the bumper mount that holds that bumper on. I gotta take it off to fab up something to put the new bumper to the frame. So I'm almost done with it now. I got one more bolt to come out and I can pull that off. So 
So now you can see the bumper mounts off. All we have now is the, uh, the hitch on there. And uh, that's what the bumper mount looked like. Once I pulled it off, it was three bolts. You can see them sitting right there. Three bolts on each side. And um, pulled the bumper. I had to get a bar to use as a breaker bar to get it off. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to uh, fab up this new bumper, put it on there. Just an update. I'm using the original bumper mount. And what I did was I cut out this notch and I'm gonna weld my other bumper into this mount. And then I knew I had my spacing all right. I know all my holes in here will match up. Uh, and then once I get it welded in, I'm gonna cut this out. Um, so I won't ever be able to put the other bumper back on unless I get um, another one of these mounts. It's probably, I could probably get another one, it's probably a couple hundred bucks. So <clears throat> that's the plan for now. So I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna grind you know, everything down and then I'm going to get to welding. All right guys, so here's what I did. I cut these uh, these tabs here. Um, I knew this bumper was gonna be short on each side by about two inches when I bought it. And I really didn't feel like it was that big of a deal. I went out and measured it. Um, but what I did was I, I welded these tabs on here off of scrap metal. I know the welds kinda don't look good, but they'll, they'll hold, they're real strong. <laughs> so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint these and it's kind of just like a, a cover to cover up a little bit of a gap. Uh, it, I probably didn't have to do that, but I, I did it just, these are just cosmetic is all it is. And now I'm about to put them on to the mount right there from the old bumper and weld everything up. All right guys, we just got done welding everything up. My welds are not pretty, but they're strong. My buddy said they're gorilla welds. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, go make sure everything fits right and then I'm gonna cut out this part here because that doesn't need to be on there and um, make sure everything, like I said, everything fits right and then mount it up. And I'll probably actually paint, paint this black real quick before I mount it up because that will only take a second. But fingers crossed that everything fits like it's supposed to. All right, so there it is. Obviously, I still have some more work to do. And then I think it's really gonna look okay when I'm done with it. It, uh, I knew there was gonna be that gap there like that, but that's not a big deal. I'm gonna paint that, uh, that gap there and I really don't think it's gonna be very noticeable at all. And then uh, the metal is not quite even on either side, but it's not bad. So do a few little things and I'll be good to go. All right, there, there it is. I painted the inside, I got it mounted on there. I'm about to put my license plate on and then um, figure out how I'm gonna set up the lights to light up the license plate. What's up guys? I know the wind's really windy today, but uh, I'm getting ready to put some new lights uh, around this bumper I installed. It's been on for a couple weeks. I like it. One thing I did was I moved this mount up. This is where my um, trailer hooks in for the brake lights. And it was mounted under here. So this whole thing was sitting here and hanging down. I moved it up here. 
I moved the ball in some. It's probably hard to tell, but it's actually four inches closer into the bumper now. And um, these are the lights that came on my other bumper and they look kind of awful like that. So I got these and I'm either gonna mount them up here, like, oops, sorry, up here like this or on the edge like this. So I gotta uh, take these little brackets I made off and um, drill a hole in the bumper, mount these, wire them up. So I'm gonna get to it. Well guys, there it is. The lights do work. You can't you can't tell. I don't have them on because it's daylight. You can't really see it. I'll uh, get a video tonight and put it in right here. So it doesn't look great in the video, but it actually, it actually looks good in person. So they work. I'm happy. So you can see they do work. Uh, everything's completely finished on the back of the truck. Uh, I did debadge it also, so I don't have any logos or anything, but I think everything turned out pretty good as far as the bumper goes. So thanks for watching part two of the truck, the hunt truck build. The uh, only two things I really have left, well, I guess three things. I'm gonna tint the front windows. I'm going to put a cab on there, a shell, a top or whatever you wanna call it. When I can find one that's used at a good price, I'll painted if it's the wrong color i'm not really worried about that and then i'm gonna put a winch and hopefully a bumper on the front i haven't decided if i'm gonna build the bumper or if i'm gonna buy the bumper or if i'm gonna get somebody to build it for me so that's yet to be determined and the goal obviously is to have all this done by fall when i head out west to hunt so thanks for watching part two if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider doing so